y'all. I'm just gonna do a quick meal, which is going to be smothered squash with onions and some fried burgers. So here we go. All right, y'all, I have my squash cut up. I just sliced it, sliced onion on it. I put two chicken cubes is what I call it. And all my seasonings, garlic powder, onion powder, just whatever you want, that's what you put in it. And I'm gonna shake it up a little bit like this. And salt and pepper. So, I'll bring it over here. I know y'all know how to do this. I've cooked this before, I believe. Just a little bit of butter. And I have my bacon grease. Just a, a teaspoon of it. We start back our keto diet, so I don't know if that's part of it or not, but uh, that's what we cook with. Teaspoon shouldn't hurt. Got that in there. Get all that good stuff out. I love cooking with chicken broth, y'all. Chicken broth gives it a flavor. When I make my macaroni and cheese, I even use chicken broth in that. I'm just saying. And I got these onions. I'm gonna grill these, saute them down with the, the burgers. Get that going. And let me get a lid and I'll be back. And this is the ground meat. that finally went on sale. It's been being $3.99, $4.99, on up to $6.99 a pound. I, would, I wasn't paying that. So when it went on sale at Rouse's for $2.49, I went and bought me 20 pounds of it, I believe. Two family packs. Well, I got Sam to go pick it up for me. It's, it's expensive. So I wish I would have bought more and just put it in the freezer, but it'd be all right. So I'm gonna put all my seasonings, um, breadcrumbs, and some eggs in it, and I'm gonna mix it up and make my patties. I don't think y'all need to, y'all know how to do that. I can talk to y'all, you know I'm good at that. All right, y'all, let's check this out. Just made my mixture up of my ground meat. I wind up putting two eggs in it, and I put my breadcrumbs, all my seasoning. And I did want to hang around, but I think I changed my mind on what I want. Making his own water in it. Mm -hmm. Just gonna turn it down. Put that in there. Just gonna let it kind of steam cook. Put that in there. Just gonna let it cook. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. Let me show y'all. Let me put you up here. I bought some sweet peppers. These are sweet banana peppers at a local place where they home grow. These are grown here, right down the road. Um, they had hot peppers, banana peppers, and the sweet. So I got sweet. So I'm gonna take the stuff out of these and I'm gonna stuff these with ground meat and I'm gonna cook them for myself. My husband probably is gonna eat a burger. You know, I never paid attention at and I heard my say preheat, you know, Preheat your um, air fryer. I never thought about it. So y'all look. I'm gonna take my mixture and I'm gonna shove it. Shove it. <laughs> that was my coffee pot. Thought I turned it off. And I'm just. And if I can't get it all the way down to the butt of it, I will slice it open. Sometimes you can get it all the way down. I'm going back to that place and buy me some more. I'm gonna slice it down because I want it to go all the way down. See? Oh. Well, I'm just gonna slice it down. And show that meat down in there like that. These are so good. Whenever we had our, our garden before, we had done uh, these peppers, and that's what we did. If we picked 20 of them, we would stuff 20 of them and cook it and eat it right then. 
good. So if y'all have any ideas, I know I've done this before with the keto diet. I'm actually going to go back through some of my videos because I can't remember stuff that we ate. I just, for some reason, I can't remember. And we lost weight. My husband, we all lost weight on that. I don't do straight keto. Like I said, because it causes kidney issues. But I do dirty keto. And I'm, I'm, if I want something, I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna deprive myself of it. I'm living this life one time. I ain't gonna get a chance to come back and enjoy a piece of cake. Uh, if I want a piece of cake now, I'm gonna get it. Just, it is what it is. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. No, I ain't sorry. But that's what it is. Um, if we out to eat and I want something different, now, am I gonna do that every day? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that because I do want to live a good life, you know. I know my limitations. I know if I ain't, if I ain't had a, a, a bite of a real banana pudding that I'm not going to take and fix me a little bowl up, three bites of it to eat. I am. I just know my limitations now. I'm not overdoing it. You know. So, yeah. But I do dirty keto. You enjoy some stuff. And you still lose weight. Sometimes I go... I'll be full force, headset strong, and I'm good. All of a sudden, I might be on it for two months, and I say, you know, I want something, and I get it. I don't beat myself up over it. Let's do it. You see these banana peppers? I got three of them. I'm gonna probably eat two. I'm gonna try to eat two with some uh, some other squash. Uh, mozzarella cheese on top of my daddy cook. So I'm gonna start them off at 330 degrees, and I'm going to do seven minutes. And I will be back. And here I got my iron skillet going. A little, little bit of bacon grease in the bottom. And I'm going to make some patties. Oh, I wish my husband should be in here doing this because, y'all, he makes the best burger. I'll cut my fire down. He, uh, he takes his time with his. That's the, I, th I guess that's where I mess up at, is I cook it too fast, so I'm going to cook it. And he's like, don't poke holes in the burger. You're letting all the juices out, so I'm not going to poke holes in it. And I'm going to cook it on medium, medium to low. I got to make him a big burger. But his bread is small because he got keto bread. And I've got me some, some more keto bread. But even though it's keto bread, it is processed, and I'm fixing to limit myself on this just a little bit because I've been eating sometimes two, three pieces a day with my meal. But I haven't gained no weight, y'all. I have not gained, it ain't but it's two carbs. I have not gained any weight eating that. Now, if it had been a biscuit or a regular bread, I would put on at least three to four pounds. I always do. So it might be good to eat. It does fill me up, so. Let me show y'all this. Oh. And I got the others with the grilled on, the onions in it to grill. And with them being full, so I'm gonna try to take it and just kind of twist them around a little bit so they're evenly cooked. Cause he don't like his burger smashed. But he does cook a good burger, so I'm just saying. All right. These are still cooking. Whoa, but they look good. Look at that. Still cooking. All right, y'all. I was trying to see what I was going to say without saying all right, y'all. Because I say all right, y'all, a hundred times. So, tell me what should I say. I don't know. Anyway. I put the air fryer on 370 because it done kind of cooked and so I kind of wanted it to not be so soft. So I put it on 370 for five minutes and I'm fixing to check it out. And it look good, y'all. It just turned off. Let's see what it's like. 
Oh yeah, it really looked good now. Like I said, this is what I'm going to eat. I'm pretty sure they're done now. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this little ball. <laughs> no. Ta-da, clean. Uh, and I got these burgers right here cooking but since I'm not eating a burger like on bread look at that look how good they're looking that's what is even looking good I gotta cook them on medium low I bought a bag of this last week and I just finished it off yesterday I'm gonna take me some some of this mix it up in my spinach make me like not a paste but like a mixture and heat it up just a very little bit and put some mozzarella cheese in it. I'm gonna make me like a little sauce and pour over my two peppers. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll be back. I'll show you. And this mixture, I'm not gonna go stick it in the microwave for just a few seconds. Ooh, because I don't wanna cook it. I just wanna make it creamy like a little bit. Let's look at these burgers. They on me? I don't know. I don't know what that child doing. Look at them how good they look. Whoa. Almost too long. Talking. Talking, talking. And I'm gonna put this over my my tea peppers, like I said. I could add a little milk to it if I want, but I don't. I just want a little taste. So what I'm gonna do with that is move you right here. Sorry my little in your business. And I do want me a little bit of onion powder. Just a, a sprinkle and a little bit of this onion and a little bit of garlic powder. Oh, that ain't been open yet. Where is it? Right here. Oh, sorry. Oh, and I'm going to put a little shreds of uh, cheese on it. Watch me eat. Nah. I'll let you watch. That's good. All right, y'all, burgers are done. And the onions are still grilling, but I'm gonna show y'all something. If I was gonna make hamburger steak and gravy, or any kind of gravy to go with this, I'm gonna show you what I would've done. Some, most of y'all know. You see this grease right here? I would not throw that away. I would put my flour, or first I would dump my onions in there, saute them down, and I would use that grease to put my put my flour in there and make my roux. Y'all, that is some of the best gravy you'll ever make. I'm just saying. Yeah. I will be back and when I play it up. All right, y'all. I said, all right, y'all again. Okay. Anyways, in the video. I try not to make it long, but you know it's hard not to do that. I'm going to try to go fast on some of it. So, anyway. It's starting to rain. I'm going to show y'all in just a minute. Y'all yeah, have a good night. And thank you for watching. I know. You didn't think I forgot about this. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. So, hey, Wanda, how you doing? <laughs> oh, all right. Bye, y'all.